Hiya! Welcome back to some more Soundscape Survival. And this place looks a lot better. I like it like this. It's very natural. I noticed one thing. Toast mentioned this to me. It, it's a gift, and I didn't want to open it without you guys being here, so... It says over here. It says stand here and pull the lever for your gift. So I'm going to stand there. I'm going to pull the lever. I thought you were just going to kill me. <laughs> well, that's cool. Swedish. <coughs> I'm not actually. I'm a Swedish American, but I'm not really. That's cool. Cool. Cool diddly do. There's a lot. That's my face. That's very gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. This is really cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you can set. Oh. I thought that would blow up. Oh, it's like the gravel's being tortured or something. Oh, I get it, I think, maybe. It's like it's being burned. I don't know. I like it. So, so this is... I think this is supposed to be a place for my horse. This is, I think that's what he hinted at. It's, it's This is pretty cool. Thank you very much. This is cool, though. I will keep it. Ugh. Now, if only there was... Any, there probably is a way to get out. It's probably behind the paintings, right? Nope. There has to be a way to get out. Come on, don't trap me in here. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, maybe there's a explanation. I figured this was better than a prank, since I would want you on my side in a prank war. <laughs> I know you hate getting presents, so I knew this would annoy you more. Just kidding, I kind of do. Don't I don't really like getting presents. I figure this room would help you relax after a long, hard day of dealing. I pressed the wrong button. Dealing with mob AI. P.S. I forgot to make an exit. Damn it! God damn. <laughs> I'll get out of here somehow. I'm just going to tunnel up. Oh, wait. I don't want to... I'll go like this. See ya. I'll keep it, but I, yeah, I don't really like getting presents. I don't know why. I don't know what's a pride thing. Where's my dirt? There we go. There's also this book that I didn't read. Hello, Mr. Penguin. I find the prank war going on throughout the server too dull, so I thought I'd introduce you to a new concept. However, it involves a great involves great trust in your friend. Welcome, my chum, to the gift wars. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, doke. Okay, doke. We'll, we'll keep that sure. The gift wars. Anyways, what I'm gonna do today, and I need to get right to it because it's really complicated, is the, um I'm going to make a automatic pumpkin and melon farm in the same way that I made the automatic sugarcane farm. I'm never gonna have to touch it. It's gonna do everything on its own. It's gonna harvest at a certain time during the day, and it's gonna give me stuff. See, this has been working pretty well. I haven't been around here too often, so it's been doing a lot since when I came around here. I haven't gone in this room at all, but it gave me that much sugar cane. Yeah! So I guess I'm gonna make it like right next to it. Maybe. Like right here. And uh, um, I actually have it made in the, the creative world first. I had to figure it out because I had one and it was perfect, but it messed up somehow. So I'll, I'll see in the creative world. Okay, well this is the finished product. It took a lot of, lot of work actually about uh, well, if you include this failed attempt, it took about three to four hours to figure all this stuff out. Because I did this dependently. I mean, independently, not to... Ah, crap. <laughs> but um, this was the first attempt, and I have to show you this because I spent too long on it to just ignore. Um, it seems like it would work perfectly. Let me explain how it would how it works. We have these... I just use pumpkins so it's easier to count how many were harvested. But it works with melons the same way. I have these little compartments where the pumpkins grow, uh, pretty self-explanatory, they just got stalks and they grow right here. There's water behind, no there is not water behind, I lied. There is water underneath, okay. So what happens is I made this, <laughs> this, this is something that I did before I figured out how I did, how I'm going to do it over here. Let me explain what this does. This daylight sensor. As soon as it turns to the morning, or like as soon as it, as there is any daylight at all, it will emit a signal, and then 
it'll make this instant signal or nearly instant signal that goes around and this will power the machine and uh, it will harvest and then it waits for all of these repeaters to catch up and then it will turn it off again because I don't want it running just like I don't want it activated during the day and turned off at the night because then there would be no time for the, uh, the pumpkins to actually have time to grow so I want it just as soon as it turns day I want it turned on for just enough time for it to harvest and then I want it back into growing position so uh, yeah and uh, there are pistons underneath sticky pistons attached to these dirt so what happens is when it turns to the certain time of day this will these dirt blocks the whole row of them will just come down and then after like a few ticks afterwards these pistons above them will push down and break them and uh, there's a water stream behind these uh, these dirt blocks over there so here, I'll just show you how it works actually I'll just set it to time set 23,000 right Is that right let's turn it off it's not turning off is it what? Why is this not? Okay. Time set 22,000. Okay, now it's turning off. So see, all these repeaters are turning off. This this is how it would be normally. Like Nothing's going to happen until it turns to uh, morning, which will happen very soon, as you can see by the time. So I'm just going to wait here until morning comes, and then you'll see what happens. Okay, well, that was quick. Uh, so there's a water stream here. These pull down, and these like pop the... Uh, the pumpkins and it, it makes sense in my mind that all of the pumpkins would go into the water stream and all be pushed into the hoppers we got none of them that time over there and we got 12 of them over, 12 of them over here so it's like completely random the physics in this game with pistons and everything so like when these pistons push down on the pumpkins you have no idea where they're gonna go they could go into the water stream like they're supposed to like push down or they could just spew everywhere and they get stuck in these stalks and sometimes they'll fly out of here it's just crazy so that I scrapped that idea and then I came to this one which is messed up crap alright so we had some flooding issues uh, it was no big deal I made some very important adjustments to make sure that this machine works completely well this is this is actually what it's doing I'll just, show, just cut right to the chase pushes this dirt up and then after a certain interval of time these pistons over here will open uh, so right now if there are crops on here they would all just be items like loose items just like like that just floating around on there melons would be over here pumpkins would be over here then this water opens up for an interval of time and pushes all of them into the hoppers and into the chests so we can get them uh, yeah and then after another interval of time these will cancel off again so it stops all the water the dirt is still up, but after another interval of time, just wait for it, wait for it, the, it will come back down and they can start growing again, and everything's happy and everything's dandy. And this happens uh, at nighttime as well. It's reversible, so it happens two times a day. So, how this works is more important. We have this daylight sensor here, which is the regulator of everything. Uh, when there is no light, a daylight sensor gives no output, so this would not be on. Then when it starts turning into morning, this will turn on, and then after an interval of time, this will turn on, and then an interval of time, this will turn on, and then this one. Likewise, when it's turning to nighttime, this will turn off, then after an interval of time, this will turn off, then this will turn off, then this will turn off, and then it will be nighttime. <coughs> this is very important because this is how the machine works. So right now we have this detector right here. So as soon as it starts turning to the morning, you probably hear that helicopter in the background, I'm sorry. As soon as it starts turning to morning, this will start to give an output. That will be caught by this torch, which will activate this circuit, which goes down and underneath to a series of sticky pistons, which are hooked up to these dirt blocks. As you can see, it's already growing. It grows pretty fast. So underneath these dirt blocks are a whole bunch of sticky pistons that are hooked up to that circuit. Uh, that circuit will stay on when this is powered, when this is powered, when this is powered, but then when this is powered, it turns off. And the dirt blocks will go back down. I mean back up. Yeah, they'll go back down. Uh, after this interval of time, 
th it will go to this one, and this goes to this circuit on top, powering these pistons. So let's just walk this through. So we have the daylight sensor. It starts turning to morning. This will turn on, and that will push the dirt blocks up and harvest everything. Then after an interval of time, this will turn on, and that will uh, retract the pistons and let the water push everything. Then after another interval of time, it will just simply cancel out the pistons, and the pistons will go back down, and the water will stop, and it will be contained again. Then after another even interval of time, uh, the same thing will happen to the dirt blocks. They'll just be pulled down again, which is very simple now that I've walked my way through it a lot. <laughs> it took me a while to get this, but I'm proud that it actually happened. So I'm going to jump over to Soundscape, and I'll start building it there so you guys can see more closely how it's made. Alright, so I cleared out a room. Uh, it's right next to the sugarcane farm. I mean, I guess this could be like the automated aisle of automated stuff. That could kind of work if I could sort this out, but I had to make a, a pathway back so it didn't interfere. But it doesn't need a lot of space. I was looking at it. I could make the uh, the daylight sensor circuit above it, which would make more sense. And that, that could make it much more compact. This is about all the space that I needed. Uh, the water is going to go here. And I thought it would be fitting to use these colors, because, you know... Oh, that's not that's not a color! Oh, crap! <sighs> Look at me trying to be fancy. Trying to pull off the, the quick number pad block switch extraordinaire, and I just lost my water because I'm dumb. Alright, so, actually, yeah, I kind of need that water. Let me go get some. Uh, okay, so, we need more over here, too not going to make the same mistake again. And we need some over here. Oh, too much. That's perfect. Glass is going to go here. Here. And over here. And I'm doing a lot to make it look just fancy. It doesn't have to be fancy like you could just have it like this, but I'm going to put blocks over here as well. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just I'm picky like that. So this will be... Oh, crap. That's not supposed to be there. This will be green. And this will be orange. I wish you could mix green and orange together. That would be a cool uh, experiment. -y. I guess I could stagger it. Yeah, I'll stack it like this. So it's like plaid. Alright. That looks kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. So how much is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think water would only... F Let me test this. Let me test this theater, right? If I had this filled... Would it flow all the way? Yeah, it would flow past there and take out more torches. Lovely. Good. So now we know that it goes all the way out to there. I need that water back full. Need that water back? The zombies in this update are amazing. Oh my god. They can sense you from like they anywhere. They can sense you from pretty much anywhere, and it's insane. Like, if you go out at night, normally, like you used to be able to, you could just like sneak around and not get close to mobs and you're fine. If you go out at night, zombies know where you are and they're going to come after you. It, I like it. It makes it hard. Not like that. Don't be a pervert. It makes it more difficult. You know what I meant? <sighs> this needs to be dirt, though. All of this needs to be dirt. I'm probably not going to get this done this episode. I'm going to try and get it done in two episodes. Because it is a lot of work. I might be able to, though, if I cut enough out. I just don't want an hour-long video, because that, that's just impractical. It takes forever to render, forever to upload, and it's just, who wants to watch an hour-long video? It's too much. People got time. They got places to be and people to go. Nailed that. Alright, so I got the main structure done. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is before you put this dirt down, it's better to put the sticky pistons underneath first. So you gotta dig down two blocks and you put the sticky pistons. They're not extended right now, so that's pretty easy. 
And then once you get that down, make sure you uh, have these pistons up here. I'm just going through for those of you who want to make this as well. It is a pretty good design, so I recommend it. But uh, if we have those pistons up there, uh, this is just going to be the way to get down. Uh, you can make that anywhere. What you need to do next is to just dig out everything next to the pistons down to the very end, so where the pistons end. Do not, <laughs> this is the mistake that I made before, do not break these blocks. Uh, the one two rows away from the pistons, uh, these things have the water above them. So you don't want to break those. That's not good. Probably get flooded somewhere. So, actually wait, I need those, don't I? I need these break, broke, break, broken, broken. This is where the redstone hefty part comes into play. I only have eight, wow. Uh, I need to go make more. I'll be right... I'll, well, let me just go get them. Alright, I got more repeaters. Probably still not going to be enough. But, uh, this is going to be a big, like, lifesaver right here. You're going to need to place these. So, I guess you got to be, like, right next to the block. Yeah, right next to the block. And, like, most people would just put them, like, every block. And, uh, that's a big waste. <laughs> I mean, the, um, the pro did having every block is that, um, when it gets activated, all the pistons will go up at the exact same time. It'll look nice and pretty. But if you just do redstone and then, uh, repeater and redstone and repeater alternating like that, it saves you half of your repeaters. And it, it kind of still looks cool. I think it's like, it's like half of them open at one point and then half of them open one tick later. So yeah, do that, putting, uh, going into all these blocks underneath, and you just put a redstone rack right behind them. And there you go, that's one circuit. And you just do that for, uh, all the rest of them as well. Uh, this middle one right here is going to share a line of redstone, so it's, it's still the same thing, it's pretty easy. Just repeater, redstone, repeater, redstone, repeater redstone and there we go and then uh oh i guess i forgot one what no i didn't okay um sexist amounts of netherrack won't lag the server correct uh, i don't know depends how excessive okay so let me just go through like this So I guess underground, if I did my math correctly, so it takes like four each side, and there's four, 16. So 16, uh, what, what is happening here? I kind of place this. There we go. Did you say something? Watch my stream. I can't, I'm recording, man. Okay, uh, so yeah, four, eight, yeah, it takes 16 underneath here. <coughs> I don't think this cough is ever going to go away. I think it's here to like, for the rest of my life. And I apologize for it sincerely, but I can't get rid of it. It's here. It's one of those coughs that's going to plague me. I'm going to be at my wedding. I'm going to be coughing. It's not going to be pretty. Okay, I'm running. I'm, I'm even running out of redstone. Wow, I'm out of redstone. Ha, oh, jeez. Back to the grind. Okay. Finishing this up. Alright, so the the underside, this is how the pistons are going to get powered. That's that's all good. That's all good. So, uh, now... There's probably going to be more repeaters I forgot to uh, mention. So, let me dig back this. Uh, I guess just one block is fine. Because we need repeaters so it actually reaches this entire current wow it's dark i will light this up all right so we need a repeater hill and the hill what happened there oh okay and here so the so every all the redstone gets powered this is going to be hooked up to one wire and this is going to go into the daylight sensor mechanism this wire right here which is going to power everything I guess we need another one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we should be fine. Eh. 
Now to work on this circuit above these pistons. I don't know how I'm going to get up there. I guess I'm just going to have to break through and replace the stone. Let me get some cobblestone. <laughs> so we need to go up. So this block, the one above the piston, so here's the pit. Oh, wait, light goes through a piston, that's weird. Alright, so the block above is the one that's going to get redstone on it. So I guess we need to make a path. There's a, a piston here, and there's a piston here, right? Yeah. So. Here. And then we go over here a good bit. Make sure that we get the pistons. I don't know. Where am I? Where are the pistons? Okay, there's the piston. Alright, so... Right here. Boop, 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 boop. Alright, so that's the, those red, that redstone is on top of those redstones. That redstone is on top of the pistons, and that will power them. We just need to get this down, which is going to be difficult, to say the least. Let me light this place up in a different spot. Uh... I'll find my little path. Oh, I broke a torch. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Breaking down into there. Okay. So this is this is gonna be the weird part. Um, on in the creative world, I had it the uh, the daylight sensor circuit. I had that to the side, but I want to do that on top because that would save a lot of room. Now the trouble is. How I'm going to get up there and how I'm going to organize that. So I guess I'll just go up right here. Ah! Ah! I knew it! It's always there. It's waiting for you. It's always there. Ah, I hate gravel. It's the low down, dirtiest block. The entire game should be removed. Remove this. So with these two... Uh, circuits we have to have it so we have to follow these instructions very carefully I messed up many times doing this so make sure that you follow me very carefully so after we have let's see after this first we so we have one redstone two redstone at the third redstone put a torch on the side and then uh, we take redstone dust and we move it three over I think and we put a block there I put redstone on top of that block. Yeah. And then we have a redstone torch here that's going to be hooked up to this circuit, which is going down below like I showed you. Actually, I don't think... Yeah, it's not getting powered. That's a problem. I'll just move this back. Right here. There we go. So yeah, make sure you have uh, repeaters in enough places so these circuits actually work, you know? Probably hear that. I think someone's mowing their lawn. I'm very sorry. Uh... I gotta have my windows open because it's burning up in here. So, uh, we have this torch, we have this dust, and then on top of this, uh, we have this right over here. We need a repeater going here. So, we have it, it looks like this, pretty much. And then on the other side, we need pretty much the same thing, but it's gonna be shorter and in between. So we have the torch right over there. We need to count one more over and put a torch there. So we have like these two torches that are kind of staggered. Let me show you. Like that. So we have these torches like this. Then we do the same thing. We have a redstone there. We have a block here. We put redstone on top of that. And then we put a torch right there. And then we have the repeater that goes right into the block over here. And uh, that will power this torch. So then we just have this being hooked up to this. Perfect. That's it. That's pretty much all the circuitry that there is. <laughs> ah, big thing that I've just forgot, that I completely forgot. There needs to be an inverter right here. So, take out two of these. <laughs> you place a block here, and then a torch here. That is a very big thing, you don't want to miss that. So this needs to be inverted. The one going to the top pistons. Not the bottom ones. Don't make an inverter there, make an inverter here. So, with that, everything is done. I'm 98% sure. <laughs> so, 
Uh, I'm, I tested this many times in creative. It works very well. I'm going to place this water over here. So, yeah, this, again, it's the same deal as with the sugarcane farm. You never have to touch a thing, and it gets you a good haul. Not a huge haul, but a good, nice and steady haul. Yeah. So, I hope you guys learned as much as I did from this. I learned a lot about, like, how we can use daylight sensors to make things automated. Which I'm probably going to do for everything around here. Have everything automated. Don't have to touch a thing. The ultimate house of laziness. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this wasn't too long, too. I have to see how long it's going to be when I'm editing. I messed up a lot of times, but I'm going to cut all that footage out and give you guys the finished product only. So you guys get the, the part that works and not the part where I messed up and got frustrated. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Until next time.